Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chinka, and we are here at the Pink Plate Kitchen for a special edition of the Sangkap Sarap Kitchen Workshop. Today, we are going to make holiday treats. So, it's the season of trick-or-treats, and I know that a lot of parents are or might already have a lot of stash for tonight's trick-or-treating, um, even if it's just at home. But we are going to try to make some holiday treats without having to buy um, candies. So we're going to make homemade holiday treats. Um, I have a lot of cereals here at home, so we're going to have some cereal bars. Later on, we're also going to try to make something savory for our kids' finger food treats for tonight. So, let's begin! So, for our first type of cereal bar, we are going to use marshmallows, crushed almonds, um, Cheerios, Rice Krisps, and some sprinkles, right? We're also gonna try to use some chocolate syrup, you know. I mean, it's not every day that kids get to have their sweets and eat it too. And before I forget, just to remind everybody to make sure that your area is well prepped and that it is also cleaned very well. So before we, uh, before we started, I already cleaned our surface with uh, my Isabel uh, Fresh and Naturals Multi-Purpose Sanitizing Spray to make sure that our area is clean and bacteria-free. So let's begin. So in the saucepan, first we're going to melt one tablespoon of butter and two cups of marshmallows. But of course, everything should still be in moderation. Now for all the kids out there after tonight after eating all your candy make sure to brush your teeth very well just so you won't have any tooth decaying bacteria left in your mouth So the marshmallows are going to melt into this gooey, gooey blob. And they are going to keep the cereals together. Turn that off and we are going to put everything in a mixing bowl. So I have here already some of my, my Cheerios and Rice Krispies. So I'm going to put in already the marshmallows. After it cools down a little, you can wash your hands, make sure they're clean, and then use your hands to mix it up. At this point, you can add in your 
crushed almonds. And sprinkles. Okay, so this time we're going to make a healthier alternative to the cereal bar that we first made. We're still going to use the Cheerios and the Rice Crisps, but this time instead of butter and marshmallows, we're going to use homemade almond butter, some coconut oil, and honey. Okay, raw honey. All right, now let me just talk to you about this almond butter, this homemade almond butter is actually made with um, crushed almonds, um, coconut oil, coconut sugar, and um, a little bit of vanilla okay, as a sugar substitute. And it also has some crushed sunflower seeds. All of these ingredients are very healthy. And um, we, want to, we want the adults to have one too, right? That's why we're making a healthier cereal bar option. So first, we are going to scoop out one half cup of the almond butter. And we're going to put the spoon of coconut oil. Lower that heat and add honey. And now we're going to add our cereal. Rice Krispies in a bit. First, I want to add in my almonds, crushed almonds, and as an added treat for the adults, grease. As you can see, I have made another batch of the old gooey goodness of almond butter. But this time, we're gonna, want, we're gonna add a bar of dark chocolate. So good. So now we're going to put this in the ref. Also for forty five minutes to an hour. Okay, so now we're going to make something savory. Have you ever actually fried 
rice, not in the usual way, like with garlic, and then you eat it in the morning with tapa, itlog, you know, tapsilog, and everything. No, this is actually, we're going to stuff the rice, form it into a ball, and fry it. Okay, so it's going to be a unique treat that I hope everybody will love. So what we're going to need, of course, we're going to need some cooked rice and then an egg. And then I'm going to stuff mine with some sausages. These are Pink Plate Kitchen Essentials Deli Franks with Cheese. And my daughter loves cheese, so we're going to stuff some with cheese. So here we go. Okay, so I have about three cups of cooked rice in this bowl. Our rice here at home, when you cook it, it's a little bit moist. Um, but I'm going to use an egg to mix into it to make sure that it holds. Later, before we fry, we have to make sure that the oil is hot because the egg is raw. So even if the rice is cooked, we want to cook it through. You don't want to burn the outside and not cook the inside. I'm gonna add the salt. So I am using Himalayan pink salt. Okay, so we are going to use our hands again. So make sure that your hands are clean. Now to add more character to my rice, I like to add a little bit of chia seeds. Okay, so now we are going to form our rice balls. I want to make sure that the oil is hot so that it's going to cook through. And you also don't want to overcrowd your pan so that you can maintain that heat. Okay, so we've made our sweet holiday treats and we're finishing off with our savory holiday treats. I hope that you enjoy these recipes, you enjoy making them at home, and I hope that you can try to bond with one another while making them. So don't forget to like the Pink Sunshine Company on Facebook and while you're at it, why don't you like Pink Big Kitchen also? And don't forget to comment in this video to win a special surprise from us. I hope you enjoy your holiday treats. Bye!